What's up guys, TG back here with another The 100 video, this one discussing episode 4 and predictions for episode 5. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy and let's get into the discussion. I personally enjoyed episode 4 and we are starting to learn more about Sanctum and their society. We got to see what naming day is, which revealed some of Sanctum's mysteries to us. Delilah received her name and after the ceremony, it didn't seem like she knew anything about who she once was. And she was like a totally different person and she also seemed kind of scared uh, be right before the ceremony while talking to Jordan. And this kind of ties in with the big twist at the end when the same thing happens to Clark. They're aware that she is a Nightblood and they use her body as sort of a host for the mind of Josephine, their dead daughter. So in a way Clark is sort of dead as of right now. Her body is still present on the show but she is someone else which is going to be very interesting going forward. When I first saw that happen to Clark, I assumed that we were going to see her as Josephine for a few episodes, but after seeing the promo, which we're about to get into, I'm not so sure. I do love this twist though, because it's definitely something different that we haven't seen before, so it's nice to see a new change this season in terms of sci-fi and plot and what's going on with, I guess, the main antagonist group, which we could say the primes are. So now let's get into the promo and make some predictions for episode 5. These people are happy. They don't know what we are. So, obviously right there, that is Josephine talking to the leader of Sanctum. I don't know why I forget his name, but that's Josephine. And, you know, you could see that she's saying these people are happy. And I think she's obviously referring to our main characters, such as Raven, Jordan, Bellamy, and everyone that's down there. And you could see him say they don't know who we are. So, obviously, they have more secrets that if our main characters found out, they wouldn't be too happy about it. It just goes to show that they do seem like they're going to be the main antagonist this season. And right there, it looks like we're going to be getting more flashbacks because that was a little callback to episode 2 of this season where we got a small flashback and the girl right there uh, got killed or at least got like her head bashed in by her father. It looked like she died and that... I'm guessing was the first eclipse when they didn't know about it yet and you know made the father aggressive and it made him hurt her even though you know it's his daughter so it's going to be interesting to get more flashbacks and kind of see more about the society when it first started because when that did happen in episode 2 I was hoping to get more and we didn't so hopefully we do get some more in episode 5 it looks like we should and then this right here that's what made me think that Clark may be back by the end of the episode because this woman along with the other guy they're the ones that changed Clark uh, to Josephine and obviously you can see Clark or Josephine stabbing her in the neck right there but I don't think that's something Josephine would do so although originally after that after our uh, last episode I thought Clark would have the role of Josephine for a few episodes it seems like she might break out of it by the end of next episode um and that's why she's stabbing her she has her role back as Clark and then in my opinion if that does happen and I'm correct about that it seems going forward uh Sanctum would be their main enemy and they're going to be trying to get out of there so that is it for this video guys I am going to be creating a few more this week on the 100 some predictions going forward with the season on other topics that weren't really shown in this promo but i do have some ready so be on the lookout for those that is it for this video thanks for watching and leave some comments down below so we can talk about the show